between the train and the platform. Change here for the Piccadilly line. In London, there are uh, so four million CCTV cameras, I think. Yeah? Yeah, four millions. In the underground, in the streets, around the homes. Yeah. Um, police, they observe everybody. If they want to observe somebody, they, I, I believe they observe him from town to town. So, so the government easily. can follow you from town to town? So, no, some people, you know, not all people, of course. CCTV, uh, they are not for spying. No, just uh, they are for security. And once I was in the court here in Britain, and I found four suspects in the court. So, part of the evidences against these suspects, I found CCTV cameras recorded uh, their behaviors in some shops. So I think it's an, an advantage. With the crime rate over here, I think it's not enough, to be honest. Do you think it has any effect on the crime? Um, I'd say a slight effect, but if someone's going to commit a crime, they're going to commit a crime. That's So you don't think the people do. uh, feel uh, uh, threatened by the cameras? Oh no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't think anyone really cares, to be honest. They just, they just go about their daily lives. It doesn't really make a difference to them. I suppose the only people that would find the surveillance an issue is the people who are trying to do something that the surveillance would catch them on. So. Did you do anything on the cameras? Wrong place, wrong time, that's it. Oh, okay. He was beating up one man here. I fit in the description. And that's then like, the camera must have seen him, innit? And then they replayed the camera when he was in the station to prove that it was him. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't me. It was him. It was lying. It was another person. No, no, it was another person dressed in my interior. No, no, no. CCTV called you out. Shush. So you think that uh, more black people is being arrested? Yeah. Yeah. Even white people admit that nothing yeah, they do, they do, So if a white people. person makes a crime on CCTV, they uh, will not get a pin. If it's a black man, if there's a white man and a black man there, and a white man does a crime, but a black man's relevantly there, they'll pin it on him one way or another. Why? 
others. They don't like black people roaming the streets. Less people CCTV get away. CCTV ain't stopping no crime because crimes are still made whether CCTV is there or not. Because it's only visual, they can't hear anything. And plus, anything. yeah, when, when, when someone's looking at a crime scene on CCTV, if the police are looking at something that's happened yeah, on CCTV camera, sometimes the visual's not clear so you can't see the person's face. And most people wear hoods and stuff when they're doing crimes anyway, so it don't really help. I imagine that it could move crime on to other places where there aren't cameras and then they can that could be an excuse I suppose to have more cameras but I uh, I don't think crime is that personally I don't think crime is that bigger issue the, the the things like fighting in streets after clubs and stuff maybe that's where we can have cameras on but I don't think I don't think it's that much of an issue and it's an excuse it's just an excuse to, to just get more information about us I think so you think that uh, it's lowering the crime rates? Definitely, 100%, yeah. Why? Why? Because you can see on the, the TV what, what they uh, find people doing violence and uh, getting people's faces on camera. So yeah, it helps. Yeah. yeah, so you don't think it's too much? I don't think it's too much. No, you can never get enough too much CCTV. People, so in this world at the moment we live in, there's too much shit going on. So. Uh, at the moment, there's a lot of uh, not good people in this world, so they, they need to uh, to get locked up. You know, they need to, to get sorted out. The police are, are, are they need to see what these people are doing. Um, I think it's a good thing. I think there's, um, it's a necessary thing now. I mean, there's, it's, it does. If you're not doing anything wrong, you're not going to be harmed by it. Um, obviously, there's a lot, a lot of opposition to it, but I think um, if it's there and it's making the place safer, and I think it certainly makes things safer in central London. Do you do think it has a good effect? Of course, yeah. Yeah. I think the, the, the people who make the crime know it's there and they respond to that. Uh, I mean, obviously, yeah. it's kind of, kind of good because you you feel more secure if anything happens. You know that somebody's watching. But uh, yeah. so you don't think it's too much? CCTV. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, not really because. I, I run a restaurant, so I kind of feel like, you know, it's 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 necessary because I, I came across lots of situations that very helped quite a lot. So, so you think I it's... Think there is no harm, really. Yeah. Uh, do you think it's lowering the crime rates in London or Britain? It, it, I don't think it affects lowering, but I think it's just helping to find the criminals, right? That's the main reason that to have the CCTV. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's very good. I think it should be all over. I think it's you know prevents crime and things like that. Do you think it's lowering the crime rates? I'm sure it must be. It must be because you know if they think somebody's going to do something and they see a camera, they're not going to do it, are they? You know they maybe go somewhere else and do it, but at least that area where the camera is, they're not going to do it, are they? Here, 4 million CCTV cameras here in London, in underground and overground. Some people, they feel they are being observed all the time, so they, they lose some part of their freedom. Yeah. Do you think that's just paranoia? Um, I disagree with them, actually. 